Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really, really lovely day. Today we're going to be getting into yet another box. This is the part where you gasp in surprise and shock. Today's box is going to be the Air Beauty box for the month of September. Even though it is no longer September and you thought you might get this done on time, but you procrastinated until it became the next month. I haven't seen a single spoiler or looked at any other unboxings, so I'm very interested to see what is inside of here. I feel like this came decently late in the month, but I also forgot about it for a decently long amount of time. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So now I'm filming this video almost at the end of the month, and I will be surprised if it goes up in the month of September. At least I'm self-aware. Well, I was gonna try to safety box cut into this, but y'all know the story with that, so I'm just going to uh, use my teeth. <clears throat> I don't know, I just smacked it. All right, so for those of you who do not know, Allure Beauty Box is a $15 a month subscription. However, when you sign up, I think you always get like $5 off. There's typically a coupon like floating around out there. This box comes with like beauty and makeup samples. Typically, there is a fair amount of like skincare, hair care in this box, at least from my experience. And sometimes every now and then you will get like a travel size or a deluxe size, sometimes even a full size item in here, but that just depends on the month. So let's go ahead and pop off into this. The first little thing that comes in the box here is a little tiny magazine that'll tell you all about the products inside of the box. I'm not gonna flip through that though so I don't ruin any surprises. On the front here it says Best of Beauty Award Winner. So maybe inside of the box they're going to be doing like everything that they have said was the best in beauty. Let's go ahead and unveil what is inside the box here. Oh boy. The very first thing I am seeing is something that I'm not good at doing <laughs> and I rarely ever do and that is false lashes. So these are the Tardis Pro Cruelty Free Lashes. I got mine in the style. I want to say shade so bad. My mouth like keeps forming the word shade. Style flirt. And these are lightweight wispy lashes that add flirty length. All right, so here are the little wispy lashes that you can barely see because of the glare. Let's go ahead and pop those out of the packaging real quick so you can actually see. Oh. <laughs> Like that didn't help at all. Okay, the, the glare is just not going away. Believe me, there are lashes here. So we have these little tiny wispy lashes. They do have quite a bit of length to them though. I don't really know if they would add much in the way of fullness, but I definitely think you could like bat your upper eyelids with these things. As I have said a billion times though, I'm just garbage of putting on fake lashes. So these, since they are so thin, maybe they'd be a little bit easier. Okay, next up in the box here, they have included like a little set. So we also have a little lash glue from Tarte, which I guess this is something I could actually use if I do want to start trying out fake lashes a little bit more. Y'all should see my duo lash. It is a mess. I lost the lid to it like three months ago and um, so I just kind of like pull off the hardened glue top if I ever need to use it. But this looks like a very liquidy, watery kind of glue, which I have not tried before. So this should definitely be interesting to try out. It smells like Elmer's. Moving back on into the box here, I have a little squeezy thing. This is Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel from IGK. And I'm guessing this is for your hair. And this says, this coconut infused oil gel is the foundation in creating the hydrated, lived in, undone hair right now. And on the front here they show this lady looking just like real natural and flowy. Unfortunately I have never in my life been able to pull off like just the I just got up like this kind of hair. I just look unwashed <laughs> if I do that. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work out for me. I guess I will give it a try, but maybe on a day where I don't have to like go outdoors. Oh, okay. Next up in here, we have something from Mac and this actually looks like it might be a full size. I don't 100% know, but this is a luster lipstick and I got mine in the shade lustering, which I have absolutely no idea if that's a real word or not. Oh, okay. It's like an actual like Mac bullet lipstick. I remember being obsessed with the idea of having one of these. When I did not have any makeup whatsoever, I thought this was like the end all be all of makeup products. And the very first one that I ever had or purchased for myself, I went into Macy's and there's a little MAC counter in there. And I swatched MAC lipsticks for like 45 minutes. They probably thought I was insane. And I ended up getting Velvet Teddy. That was the very first MAC lipstick I owned. And I just thought it was like the coolest thing. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Alrighty, so this is a very bright pink color. It's it's a really pretty color, but it's just not something I would typically wear. It's also looked like it got a little bit sweaty inside the tube. And because I know myself and I will probably never ever wear this, I am just going to go ahead and pass it on to somebody else. I don't want to swatch it or anything and mess it up. But I do think it is really cool if there is a full size MAC lipstick in here. So this is at least $18. I think that's how much they retail for. So that definitely covers the cost of the box right there. And the final thing in the box is this little guy right here from Drunk Elephant. And I think Drunk Elephant is like a crazy, crazy expensive brand. I know I personally don't own anything from them. This is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. And it has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. And I'm pretty sure we just had this conversation on the channel not too long ago about what those meant. And I've already forgotten. I do like the packaging on this. It has the cute little like baby pink top and the tiny little elephant on it. It's a really cute little squeezy bottle. It says you're only supposed to use this once weekly and I feel like this bottle there's only 0.5 fluid ounces in it but it would probably last you for a good long time. I wonder how much comes in the full size and how much it retails for. I guess we're going to find that out when I look inside the little pamphlet but this I'm actually pretty excited about. It says that you might experience slight tingling when you put this on which I personally really like. For some reason if things don't like burn or tingle I feel like they're not working. That's probably not a good rule to follow but I like to feel feel things working. All right, Dia, so let's go ahead and look inside of here and we will get the full size prices of all of these items. Oh man, okay, so apparently the MAC lipstick came in two different colors. There was Lustering and Ruby Woo, which I know Ruby Woo is like one of their classic standards and I've never tried it before, so I really wish I would have gotten that one. But the full size price of the MAC lipstick is $18.50. Then we have our little eyelash glue here, which the full size price of that is $9. Oh, okay, so it says that the eyelashes that were supposed to come in here are the girl boss lashes but that is not the ones I received those are much more like full and fluffy <laughs> and they are $12 then we have the drunk elephant TLC thingy which is $80 full size that's so much money I am definitely going to look into it and see how big the full size is and maybe get like a little like value of what we received here and then apparently for the last items in here you could either receive the little coconut oil gel that I did or a living proof full reading reading why am I so bad at it living proof full dry volume blast and both of those are $29 I'm a little bit sad because I really like the living proof um thing but that is okay overall I think the box is pretty good and I feel like it definitely has a good value however the items might not be like my personal favorite but I'm not gonna say it's a bad box because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are super excited about like the coconut oil the lashes the pink lipstick those are just things that I personally won't really use too much but that is everything that I received in my Allure Beauty box for the month of September let me know what you guys got did you enjoy your box did you not do you get this box do you not <laughs> all of your thoughts and opinions are welcome down below me and my grandma sweater are about <laughs> me and my grandma sweater are about to go make some more coffee because I'm on day two of the no sugar diet and it's still hard. But again, just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me and I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. That's not how my outro goes. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Do you ever just get the theme song to Doug stuck in your head?